Well, I think that, you know, there's um, two components. Um, one is um, knowing how to make materials readily accessible um, and visible um, on the internet. So that includes things like you know knowing about um, EAD, but knowing about other standards, knowing about CSS and style sheets, and uh, and database driven websites, and how to do um, use PHP or Drupal or whatever else you want to have. Um, so that kind of combination of both descriptive practices and um, underlying technologies that will, and you know, a little bit of digitization um, uh, initiatives and um, knowing uh, uh, about content TM and, and some of the other options. Um, so that's sitting down and saying, uh, let's make our stuff um, accessible that way. I think the really interesting issue that's going to be facing us is um, what do we do with all the electronic information that we have. Think about your own life and what you get in the mail now versus what you get via email. And um, we're real good at sitting down and dealing with um, mail that comes in as physical mail and we put it into folders and we know how to uh, have different correspondence series and praise it and, and write um, with pencil on it. Um, and we're still pretty clueless about what to do with uh, emails, attachments, draft documents, um, the, uh, the, you know, the exciting work that's going on at Texas and uh, Emory and uh, Maryland about um, with literary papers and uh, you know if you've got Salman Rushdie's uh, papers, what you have are his computer, how do you sit down and, and deal with the, you know, the different drafts of the materials. We're living in, information is being created um, electronically and so the real issue um, that I think young Erica's face is going to be to sit down and say how to make sense of um, not manage the, um, the paper, the artifacts that we love so much but how to um, deal with um, information that's been created um, electronically. I do think it's going, there's going to be an interesting component of this is to challenge traditional artful practice. Because before we were always sitting down and saying how important appraisal is and how we had to weed this stuff out. And, um, we used to have systems that would say, well, you know, if you had an email system, you needed to have... Um, um, users flag that this is an archival record and have it then go into folders so it could be captured from that. And I'm less and less sanguine that we're actually ever going to be able to build systems like that. And it may be that the solution is going to be taking everything and um, because storage is cheap now and searching is cheap and and we will have to come up with search utilities that allow one to um, find relevant data rather than um, um, appraised and record, you know, turns records management on its head um, to say, um, let's save everything and let our search engines find what is of permanent value rather than trying to upfront identify what's of permanent value and get rid of everything else. Uh, but uh, well, I'm glad I don't have to deal with those issues. <laughs>